everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've been packing for a seven night cruise in the Caribbean for my family of four. But today I'm focusing more on what I'm gonna be packing for my carry-on bag for embarkation day. So on that very, very first day, it may not be until way later in the afternoon before your luggage actually arrives to your room. So it's always a good idea to pack a completely separate carry-on bag with all of your essential items that you think you're going to need to really enjoy the ship's amenities before your luggage actually arrives to your room. So in this video, I'm going to cover 10 essential items that I think needs to be in every carry-on bag for embarkation day. So the first thing I would suggest is to have all of your cruise documents printed out and put in one place just for easy access. So this also includes your passport, your vaccination card, any forms of ID um, that you think you might need to either fill out additional paperwork as it comes up or to just show during the check-in process. So another good thing to have on hand are some lanyards that you can put your sea passes in. You definitely don't want to lose those sea passes. And so having those lanyards um, helps you keep track of them because you will need to pull them out to show around the ship, to check out towels, and as you move about um, the ports as well. So the second thing on my list is swim gear. You're probably gonna wanna go and check out the pool and the swim facilities right away. But if you don't have your luggage yet, you definitely wanna make sure that you have your swim gear already ready to go in your check-in bag. So this includes your cover-up, your swimsuits, any floaties your kids might need, goggles, basically anything that you think you're going to need to just really enjoy the pool and the water sports that are available to you on the ship. The third thing on my list, which goes along the lines of swim gear, is sunscreen. The worst thing in the world is for you to burn like a lobster on your very first day. So it's super important to bring plenty of sunscreen to protect you from that harsh sun. The fourth thing on the list is a change of clothes for your entire family. Many of the restaurants and shops don't allow you to just walk in with just your swimsuits on. And so it's really important to have a change of clothes in case you work up an appetite or you want to check out any of the stores after you swim. So number five on my list is a really lightweight pool bag that you can roll up and stick in your carry-on suitcase. This is gonna be great for you because you can put all of your pool items in there and you will not have to worry about your other things getting wet or sandy. So number six on the list is a first aid kit. You never know when somebody in your family is going to get hurt, so it's really smart to always have on hand band-aids, um, antibiotic ointment, or all the things that typically go in a first aid kit. Also, any medications that you think you might need, um, definitely pack those as well. They do sell uh, medications on the ship, but it's going to be so much more expensive. And so um, having your medications, nausine, anything, your sea patches, um, anything that is going to uh, help you if one of your family members gets sick, you need to put in your carry-on. Number seven, your makeup and your hair tools. Um, for me, I like to freshen up after I've had a swim or just been in the sun for a really long time, especially if I'm planning to go and eat or do some shopping or just walk around the cruise ship. Um, I'm going to probably want to freshen up a little bit. And so I'm definitely going to be packing my makeup and all of my hair tools. And of course, that's completely optional um, if you're not worried about that at all. So number eight on my list is Clorox wipes and hand sanitizer. Nowadays, um, we are just so much more conscious about germs and everything. And so having your own Clorox wipes comes in handy, especially when you first go into your stateroom, you might wanna wipe down um, a few things, especially if you have kids who touch everything. Um, I like to have Clorox wipes to just kind of wipe off their hands and the things that they touch. Um, and then also, even though there's a lot of hand sanitizer stations all around the cruise ship, nothing is more convenient than having your own personal hand sanitizer. Um, for me, I personally like the spray kind. The gel kind for me seems a little slimy. So um, just take whatever, whatever you like best, but this is the kind that I like the most. Um, but yeah, hand sanitizer is always a good thing. 
Okay, number nine on my list. Definitely bring your camera and a waterproof phone case. While you're at it, be sure to pack all of your charges as well. You definitely don't want to miss capturing those first moments, especially when everything is new and exciting and your family is seeing all of the amenities for the first time. You don't want to miss out on capturing those moments. So be sure you pack your camera and a waterproof case um, in case you want to capture pictures around the pool and you don't want to ruin your phone. So you're probably gonna be waiting in some long lines out in the sun. It's really important to always stay hydrated. So bring a refillable water bottle for each of your family members. There are plenty of places on, on the ship where you can refill that water bottle um, to where you don't have to fill those little cups and keep having to go back. Um, this comes in handy, uh, especially when you have a family with little ones who are constantly getting thirsty. That's it. That is my list of 10 essential items that I think needs to be in every carry-on bag for embarkation day. I really hope that you liked this video and that it was helpful to you as you plan on packing for your cruise. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.